All right, guys, let's talk about the pediatric vaccine schedule and the mnemonics that I use to help me remember these. This has not only been helpful for my nursing students, but also in nurse practitioner school. You can download this PDF for free in order to keep it for the future. You just have to go to the link in my profile and you'll find it there. Okay, so over here we have the age group with the mnemonic, and then over here we have the vaccines that correlate with the mnemonic, okay? So let's start off with birth. So a newborn, just remember the B in newborn, you just have to give hepatitis B. Now, you might have heard of the mnemonic Dr. Hip. I really like this one. This has been previously used by other students. And Dr. Hip refers to the age of two months, four months, and six months. So at each of those months, you're going to give DTAP, which is the D, rotavirus for R, HI and HIP stands for the HIB, then we have PCV and polio. Now, in addition to those Dr. Hip vaccines, at two months, you're going to give another hepatitis B. At four months, you're just giving Dr. Hip, and at six months, you're giving Dr. Hip plus Hep B, and you can start giving flu at six months. Now let's look at 12 to 18 months. So the way that I like to think about this is you've been raising your child up to 12 months or one year old and you finally want to go on a vacation. You decide to go hiking and somebody tells you don't hike on path 13, more reviews on hike A, 12, and 23. And 12 and 23, that is in reference to hepatitis A. So you are specifically going to give that at 12 and 23 months, okay? And then everything in pink here is correlated with the vaccines here. And I do have to fix this typo. It's Hep A, 12, and 23 months, not 13. That was my fault. I'll fix that before you guys download it. Now let's check out our four to six year old children. So at that age, Dr. Polio must vaccinate flu yearly. So we give DTaP, polio, MMR, varicella, and then flu yearly, okay? Now we give MMR and varicella both at 12 and 18 months and four to six years old. Remember that these are live vaccines. That's also an important tip for NCLEX. And last group here, we have our 11 to 12 year olds and we say today we're going to give three HPV and meningococcal with a booster at 16 to 18. So we give the initial meningococcal dose as 11 to 12 years old and then when we boot them out the door for college, they get a booster. Remember that you can download this PDF for free. Just go to the link in my profile and sign up with your email. I hope you learned something today. Follow for more.